is Dr. Zia. Today, I'm going to talk about research methodology and I welcome you in my lecture number 11 of research methodology. Let's talk about the hallmarks of scientific research, what I call the fundamentals or one ones of scientific research. Today, I'm going to discuss the eight hallmarks of scientific research. Let's talk about that. Let's study. Number one, purposiveness. Number two, rigor. Number three, testability. Number four, replicability. Number five, precision and confidence. Number six, objectivity. Number seven, generalizability. Number eight, parsing. So these are eight hallmarks of scientific research. I'm going to explain them in detail. So let's see the first one that is called the purposiveness. Purposiveness means that your research or the scientific research you are going to carry out must be having some purpose in it. As the name suggests, it means that it has to start with a definite aim or objective or the purpose in it. It should be having some focus and without the focus any research started may be considered as futile. Okay. So let's go to the second hallmark of scientific research. The second hallmark of scientific research is rigor. Rigor means that your scientific research or your research should be having a theoretical base theoretical foundation or a sound theoretical support. It would add to the purposiveness nature of your study. If you do not have a sound or strong theoretical base or foundation, even the purposiveness may suffer. So what does it mean to have a strong rigor? It means your research must be supported by or the elements of your research or the variables or the linkage to some, ex some extent they must be having or the phenomenon you are going to propose must be having some support theoretically, academically. In the field of academia, the researchers or the researches done related to your study must be supporting the phenomenon what you are going to propose. So a good theoretical base adds up the rigor of your purposive study. Okay, so the third one is called testability. The third hallmark of scientific research is called testability. Testability means your research or the scientific research must be uh, having or must be applied uh, uh, before reaching to the conclusion. It must be having some application of certain statistical tests to the data collected for the purpose. So some conceptual, some statistical, some uh, other tests must be applied. Testability also means that your study must have come out through various tests. So, for example, uh, if the researcher might hypothesize that uh, employees who perceive greater opportunities for participation in decision making would have a higher level of commitment, but how it is tested, what sort of tests, what, of, what sort of statistical tests are applied, that is important. And if it is further testable, then your research would be considered a scientific research. Otherwise, we would say that one hallmark of scientific research that is testability which is missing in the research. Okay, the next hallmark of scientific research is called replicability. Replicability means that your research can be used again if similar circumstances prevail in some other country, in some other religion, 
in some other organizational setting or in some other uh, department or uh, institution. So replicability means your research model or your research uh, should be having the quality to be replicable in other setting. If the, but remember this is important, if the similar circumstances prevail, if the circumstances are different, then definitely your research uh, would not be considered replicable in other uh, set in, in other circumstances in other in other setting okay then after replicability uh, the fourth one is the, uh, i mean the fifth one is called precision and confidence precision is what precision refers to the closeness of the findings to reality based on sample and that sample you selected from the population. So precision reflects the degree of accuracy, what I call the degree of exactitude of the results of the sample. So it should be very close to the reality. If it is uh, reality is different and it is depicting something else, then it would be missing the precision. What do we mean by confidence? Confidence means, uh, I mean, it refers to the probability that our estimations are correct. If our, as how much our estimations are correct. That is, it is not merely enough to be precise, but it is also very important that we can confidently claim that 95%, 90%, or even 99% are results would be true and there is an error or the chance of being wrong can be 5%, can be 1%, can be 10%. It varies from uh, discipline to discipline, from social science, from medical science, from other disciplines. Okay, the sixth hallmark of scientific research is called objectivity. Objectivity means that the conclusions drawn through interpretation of the results of the data analysis should be objective that is that they should be based on the facts of the findings derived from the actual data and not on our subjective or emotional values it should not be based what i like it should not be based what i dislike it should be based on the actual data and the conclusions drawn from the analysis that is called objective Number seven is generalizability. Generalizability refers to the scope of application of the research findings in one organizational, uh, one organizational setting to other setting. In one organizational setting to other setting. In one field to other field. In one discipline to other discipline. So generalizability is mostly related to quantitative research. We say that the quantitative research uh, should be having higher or more generalizability. The more generalizability a quantitative research possesses, the more it is uh, of good quality. But maybe it is not the case with qualitative research. Okay, the eighth hallmark of scientific research is parsimony. Parsimony means what? Parsimony means that your model should be simple enough, but it should be efficient enough as well. Simplicity means efficiency. It should be encompassing the uh, majority of the aspects which are playing their role in that conceptual model. What does it mean actually? It means that uh, it should be having simplicity. Let me tell you that simplicity in explaining the phenomenon or problem that occur and in generating solutions for the problem is always, always preferred, always better to complex research frameworks that consider an unmanageable uh, number of factors. So that's important. It should be efficient. Your model should be fitting the data. That's important. All right. So on the basis of this, uh, today we covered uh, 
eight hallmarks of scientific research. Let me recap quickly. Number one, purposiveness. It must be having a purpose, aim, objective before starting the research. It must be having rigor, means a theoretical background and support and base. Testability, by using various tests, specifically the statistical tests, having the replicability, can be applied in other settings, in other organizations, in other countries. Precision and confidence, exactitude and accuracy, and confidence on the results generated. Objectivity means less subjectivity, what I like or what I dislike. Generalizability means applicability to other organizational settings if the circumstances are similar or same. And finally, precision, uh, sorry, uh, parsimony, which means the simplicity, the efficiency of the model.